Your thought on that? Uh, garbage. You're going to run around like that. You probably need to answer when, when somebody comes at you man to man. And that didn't happen either. So from there, I'll leave it to the league. I thought both hits were about as bad as you get. Last night, as the Seattle Kraken came into the Saddle Dome, we had ourselves a chippy game, to say the least. But what's going to have everyone talking was Pospisil. He laid not one, but two brutal hits, sending guys headfirst into the boards. And I know Pospisil is a player you like to have on your team. I saw that as a Penguins fan the other night. He had nine hits that game. He is great at playing that pesky guy role. But if that is your game, you're going to be expected to answer the bell, because the league takes no Notice. And yet, he has said he's not willing to fight. He's had six concussions, and so he doesn't want to fight in the NHL. And that's pretty clear by the way he turtles when challenged. But beyond that, it was a busy night in Calgary, and we even got some confetti coming down at one point. Now there's confetti falling from the uh, scoreboard. There it, there it there's, is. there's confetti falling because the puck hit the scoreboard. So let's get right to it. Now it was just seconds in and a big hit along the boards as it's Pospisil on Larson. As Larson, I don't know how he got up from this as quickly as he did. Head just disappears into the boards and it's definitely a nasty hit. But you guys be the judge because there was no call on the ice. I personally think you could definitely call boarding here, but play carried on. And so back to the game, it's done. On net, hits traffic in front, but they score anyway. In the right place, at the right time. Time, it's Yanni Gord ripping it past Markstrom to open the scoring early. And while the Kraken outshot the Flames 11 to 2 in the opening frame all over them early, that was the lone goal of the first, so let's head over to the second, where it's Kuzmenko early and he catches Dunn up high. Deflected off of his own stick and into his ear as that one's got a sting, he would go off temporarily but later return. But the Flames definitely woke up in the second, getting some great looks, and then suddenly it's Cartier going into town on Pospisil out of nowhere. Taking a look at the replay, Karche comes up to him, I assume wanting him to answer for that hit earlier, and while Karche drops the gloves, Pospisil does not, which again, you're gonna have to if you want to play the way he does. But, say what you will, because as a result, the Flames would come out of it with the power play. And so, Kuzmenko to Kadri, stopped, but Kuzmenko not giving up on it, gets it past Grubauer. A great play by him here to keep digging at it, and eventually is able to score to square it up. So again, he's a guy you hate to play against, but it helped his team out here. And the Flames flipped the script in the second, heavily outshooting the Kraken. And yet, with seven to go, it's McCann to the front, and they score again. Bjorkstrand buries it blocker side, and with his 16th, the Kraken would answer to regain the lead. With just under six to go, Hannafin sends it, and the puck went off the scoreboard. A pretty impressive feat, honestly, and it caused confetti to come falling down as a result. I can say I have not seen this before. Now there's confetti falling from the uh, scoreboard. There it, there there is. Is. There's confetti falling because the I puck hit it. the scoreboard. It's all over the Two place. Huberto just caught one or he missed it. Well, that's the type of years I have. I mean, Eddie, did you have to do him like that? But let's get back to the game because Markstrom was forced to make another nice stop, but ultimately the second would come to an end, so we'll head over to what was a busy third period. Not 30 seconds in, Beneers to Larson, and with space, he scores his fourth of the year off Hannafin and over the glove to make it three. Now shortly after, and it's a penalty on Coleman. Gets called for roughing on Borgen, but not a minute into it, and another couple of penalties penalties as things were starting to heat up. Anderson for Pospisil and he cranked it off the pipe. Shortly after that, Anderson to Kosmenko and he gets it done. Scoring his second of the night, the Flames were now back to within just one. And with the Flames continuing to pressure, eventually it would lead to this. Swatting it out of the air, it's done, getting called for a delay of the game, which was a huge opportunity as the Flames had several dangerous chances, Grubauer needing to stand tall, which he did, getting a little help from the post. And while they didn't score, Kuzmenko would immediately draw another one as Alexia called for the high stick meant the Flames were right back on the power play. Now the Flames were out shooting the Kraken 30-3 to since the first period and once again got some dangerous looks and once again didn't convert. Instead, they turned it over, leading to McCann all alone. He comes down and wow. 
He scores. Heads up. He beats Markstrom shorthanded to make it a two-goal game late. And so that then would get us to this. Dunn behind his net, and he's drilled into the boards, which obviously initiated a reaction. Beneers with a few cross-checks, and a scrum ensued. But Dunn was definitely shaken up. He would leave the ice clearly in discomfort and head down the tunnel. Now, this was called a five-minute major for checking from behind, and therefore reviewed, so let's do that. To me, this is clear. Here is day. Dunn is in a vulnerable position. Pospisil doesn't lay off at all and hits him hard into the boards head first. Extremely dangerous and it's the second similar hit in this game alone. When you see the numbers, you're expected to ease up here. Now yes, I will absolutely say Dunn put himself in a bad position. Two feet from the boards, heads down and stays there for a good second or so. But Pospisil has plenty of time to recognize this. It's not like Dunn turned his back at the last second. He's pretty stationary. So Pospisil saw it the entire way and yet made no attempt to lay off. Instead, rammed him into the boards, just flat out a dirty, dirty hit. One that has no place in today's NHL. And guess what? He would turtle up immediately after. So obviously, after review, the officials would confirm it was a five-minute major and hopefully Dunn will be all right. But as for the rest of the game, Plenty of bad blood late in the game as time would eventually tick away with the Seattle Kraken coming into the Saddle Dome to take it on the road and split the season series with the Flames. But again, a couple of nasty hits in this one from Pospisil, so it's going to be interesting to see if the league says anything about it, but let me know your thoughts on these below. I appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.